Hello everybody! Today I will be unboxing both illustration books for the new Love Live YY After School Activity Home Meeting whatever the hell the name is. I think it is like, oh, it's After School Activity YY Meeting. Yes. So I bought both illustration books because I just adore Love Live character design. So I bought both books and both books also come with a code that gives you outfit in the game. So I'll be showing you the outfit, but yeah, first I'm gonna unbox. So I'm gonna start with Muse and then we're gonna do Aqua. Okay, so here is the box. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, we have the nine girls. The box has like each member's motif. It's so, so pretty. I love the pink. Um, here is the side, the other side, the other side, and then just the bottom is white. And yeah, it's such a beautiful box. I already opened it before because I just wanted to confirm that the codes for the game worked. So this one I already opened, but yes, when you open it, this is how it looks. So you get 10 postcards. We'll be open, opening those together. And then you get the book here at the bottom. So let's unbox the book. And I'm gonna put the box aside for now. So yes, here we have the book. It's absolutely massive. Seriously massive. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the illustration is so beyond beautiful. I can't even get over it. Let's first open the postcards and then we'll actually get into the book. So here are the postcards. It is a postcard of each member. But yes, here we have Honoka. Oh, and the back is just like this. Very plain. Oh, and it's like a thick-ish cardstock and it has a gloss finish. Have an absolute best girl in Muse, but I do love Nico, Nozomi, and Eri. Both in Aqua and in Muse, the third years are my favorite. So those are all the character cards. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, inspiring, perfect. I love them so much. So the book has one of these covers and then it's like pink. I want to see the illustration in full. I'm gonna be very careful. So here is the full illustration. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can't get over it. So this is the illustration that actually shows up in the game. So pretty. I'm gonna remove this for now. And here is the book. I will say that I am not a fan of a book this thick having this kind of spine. If you are going to be using the book a lot, it is imminent that the pages are going to come off um, because it is so big. Obviously it's an illustration book so you don't go through it as much as a reading book. But yeah, I don't love that aspect of it. Also, just uh, so you know, these were around $75, I think, each. Obviously, because it comes with the game merch, they were also more expensive. But it is quite an expensive book. So just keep that in mind when you look at the quality. So it has like full color illustrations. And another thing I hate about the spine being like this is just that it's so hard to actually like open the book and look at the illustrations and you're definitely gonna harm the book itself. So I wish it was binded a bit better. But the quality of the illustrations is absolutely beautiful. The colors are so nice and vivid. Um, one thing though that I did uh, not like is, for example, in these pages, the illustrations are quite 
low resolution. Um, I think it's because they are taken from the game itself. So the quality is actually pretty bad. Like you see a lot of pixelation in this um, in this page, but I'm assuming that is because the original file that they had wasn't high resolution enough for this print. I don't think it's because they like did it on purpose, but it is a little bit disappointing to see this kind of quality on such an expensive book. But yeah, I'm gonna try to show you as best as I can. It's absolutely so heavy. So yeah, it gives you like profile of all the members. So we have birthday collection cards. So they look like this. So there's kind of like different themes and they gather all the illustrations together. Oh, it's just a joy. I'm gonna have such a good time going through everything. I love having illustration books for reference and for like coloring uh, help because I'm so bad at coloring and these colors are so beautiful. The pages are numbered, which I kind of dislike. I feel like a, a book like this doesn't need to have numbered pages at all. And it kind of does metal with the illustration, but at least it's not like in the drawing itself. So yeah, you just have super high quality, huge illustrations of different cards. Smells really nice. It's awesome to see like how the quality of the cards has changed as well. Like these are so much less elaborate compared to like other kinds of cards like these. Yeah, I absolutely love them. And that's pretty much it until the very end. Yeah, the illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. And then you have skill cards. So each of these um, little, little cards that you see in the game. And that's it. It has 395 pages of illustrations. So that is the Muse book. Let's get to Aqua's book. Okay, so here's Aqua's box. As you can see, this one is blue instead of pink. Again, it has the silhouette of the nine members and the motif of each member down here. This one has like little dolphins. The box, nothing much different from the other book. This feels a little bit lighter. I think this book is shorter than the Muse one. Yeah, here it is, and let us open it. So just so you can see, uh, by the time you see this, I would already have redeemed the code, so it doesn't matter. But here is like the instructions about the game. And then we have our postcards as well here. And the game itself, the book, I mean, the game. So once again, I'm going to put the box aside. So here's the book and the postcards. Let's open the postcards first. Yeah, so I love that they actually included Saint Snow here. Their outfits are so pretty. I wish the rest of Aqua had these outfits. But overall, these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, for Aqua, I definitely do have a best girl, and that is Daya, of course. But I adore the third years as well here. Um, Mari, Kanan, and Daya, I absolutely love. And then I love Hanamaru and Ruby, and I absolutely love Chika too. I would say the only two members that I'm like kind of meh about are Rico and Yo. But I like Yo more than Rico. Okay, so just like with Muse, I'm gonna take off the jacket. And 
And this is the full illustration, which is the same illustration you see in the game, and it has Saint Snow as well. Super, super, super cute. I love Johanne holding the mirror, and Daya making that face, and Mari eating the lollipop. It's just so beyond gorgeous. And here is the book, definitely thinner than Muse's book, but again, it will have similar problems because of the spine. So when we open the book, here it is. Again, same super nice quality prints, except on these pages, they have the same issues as the Muse book. But I think the Aqua illustrations are even nicer than Muse, just because like they're all newer. I mean, look at this. like. How is this legal? It's so beautiful. Yeah, so it's the same. We have the illustrations. Again, the quality of the illustrations is not the best. Look at this, you have a lot of pixelation here. But I think that's just because like the illustrations were mined from the game and I'm assuming that the illustrations weren't made in that super high resolution from the beginning. So in CFAS, um, the illustrations are super big. If you like go and download the the actual illustrations, they're really big. But the School Idol Festival illustrations are not big at all. So yes, I think that's the, the reason why the prints are in that nice quality. Because I really doubt that if they like had better quality images, like they would have used them. Maybe they should have kept the book to like a smaller resolution. That could have been a good alternative as well. Because the quality, it, it does bother me that like for such an expensive book, you're kind of like getting pixelated quality. But alas, it is still very, very beautiful. And again, they have these cards at the very end. I will say that, like, regardless of the resolution of the pictures, the colors are so vibrant and nice. And then you just go to the end. And it has all the staff, which is super, super, super awesome. I love that you can read who did what. Um, I would love to know, like, who made all the, like... Like, they even have the web designers. That's so awesome. Character Modeling Chief. These two people are so awesome. Yuichi Goto is the character, the art director. That's super awesome to know. I just love all of this. And that's it. Okay, so I'll be showing you the outfits that are available for um, with the purchase of the book. So first we have this outfit, Ocean Particle. Let me try to zoom in a bit more. There, sorry that the quality isn't great, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know how to like put PlayStation footage on my, on my computer directly. But yeah, we have Ocean Particle, Flower Circle, so pretty. We have Water Essence. I think this is one of the most like coveted outfits probably for the, so the, the lives where you take pictures. We have, no, this is already in the game. We have this one. Oh my god. Function Rock, super cute. The wedding one. We, oh my god, I don't care about other people's tasks. I really hate that the app does this. Shine Bride. The glasses one, and you can remove the glasses. Yay! Maiden residence. I think I love the glasses. And we have, that's it. <laughs> so those are the outfits that you get. You can change the color of some. So this one is like red. This one too. Ooh, nice. This is new. No, this is already in the game. Ooh, this one's super pretty. Then we have Bride. The Bride one is normal. I think I'm gonna choose this one. But in the... in this color. <gasps> yes! That's so nice! It's 
so here we have her doesn't she look gorgeous okay so now let's look at uh, Muse so I'll show you the outfits with hmm I think Nozomi she just has a good figure you know okay so we are gonna check out the Muse outfits So for Muse, we have this one. If I could see the name, I would love that. Blazer's hat, punkish rock girl, and this one changes like this. I absolutely love the black version of this. Then we have Starlight Sailors. Then we have Nine Stars Venus. Oh no, this one already comes in the game, I think. I'm not sure. Then we have this one, which is Candy Pop Princess. Ooh, that's super cute. Then we have Starring Race Girl, super cute as well. <gasps> yes, I love the black. And then we have Made in Wonderland. This one's adorable. And finally, we have, of course, we can't miss like a cat girl one. Yes. So yeah, I think for Nozomi, I'm gonna choose this one. I absolutely love this one. So yeah, this is what the content from the book looks like. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I had so much fun doing it. I absolutely adore the books, the illustrations. I'm just so happy about it. And I can't wait to like sit down and actually go through each illustration really, really carefully. Uh, let me know what do you think of the game? Do you like it? What do you think of the books? Did you get them? Do you wish you had gotten them? I'd be super happy to hear your opinions on the matter. And until next week, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!